Thank you so much for watching this video. I'm Christina with Ask a Montessorian. I'm here with my friend Liza, and we are in the Nido classroom. This particular classroom is on average six weeks of age through walking. And then this, we're here at Creole Montessori School. They also have a toddler classroom that is from walking through two and a half to three um, the age that they're ready for the primary classroom, which is three to six year olds. So come on over. <laughs> Let's take a look at the classroom. We have this mobile. And it has really beautiful monarch butterflies. And one of the mobiles, I don't see it in here. There's others over here. Yeah, too. so this is, this mobile here. Now, when the child is very young, the mobile is black, white, and red with the circles to help them with their eye development because those are the colors that they recognize initially. And then these are the mobiles that come afterwards. And you can see like the gradation of colors. And then over here, we have the stair and the platform and the ramp because this child is really concentrating on movement, learning how to master their large motor skills. They'll be climbing up the stairs and coming down the ramp, holding on to everything. We have several permanent object boxes in this classroom because the child is learning that for instance, when you cover something, you could put something in here. There's my silly ring. When you cover something up, the child is learning that it's there. Right? They're coming to the realization that you move it and then they see it. Feel free to <laughs> add anything like it. <laughs> well, I, I just can say that I got to spend a day once as a sub, and I loved it watching all the kids do their work and how independent they are and how busy they are and how happy they are. It's really phenomenal. Makes me wish I had put my kid in a neato. I didn't have that opportunity. My youngest started at 12 months. Yeah, their capabilities are mind-blowing yep. at this young age. We always underestimate them. We have a small chair and a table. That's just their size. Things for them to play with at the door. They even start doing some cleaning and yeah. taking care of the environment and There's stuff. Um, I observed for a little while last time I was here at the school and the children love these windows. I love they're low. Oh they yeah. They go right up to the windows and they're watching. And at recess the children's the house are playing out there and they always look at the babies too. It's really sweet. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of practical life going on here. It looks like we have Velcro. Yeah, Velcro frame. Dressing frame. Mm -hmm. Yep, the Velcro. Very simple one, very beautiful. Mm -hmm. pretty plant that would be nice to do washing with you know yeah and such a beautiful little sink small sink that they can access okay with the cloth and a little what do we call this a little drum, drum. Yeah. not sure what kind of drum they love the books they love looking at pictures very simple books yeah and we have vegetables, dogs, an Eric Carle book. For those of you who know the very hungry caterpillar. These are some songs that we can do with the children. Yeah. You can tell they're enjoyed. Yeah. My kids always loved the sweeping and stuff when they were little. 
Well, that's a sweet shoe work. They need to learn how to put their own shoes and socks on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so here it is. That's so sweet. And so when you're setting up your home environment for your child at this age, when you're pregnant, preferably before they arrive, mm -hmm. you want to have the twin, or the, it can be a twin mattress or it can be a crib mattress on the floor in front of a mirror such as this. Um, obviously not this bar here, you could put this in a different part of the bedroom, but you want the child to have access to mirrors in the home that are low. Yeah, Joey loved having a mirror. He would sleep next to his reflection in the mirror when he was that age. Yes. I love these chairs. They're so darling. I actually helped sew the placemats. I have little, there's little placemats somewhere. I have no idea where they are, but these are easy for them to sit down and they all sit down as a group. You know, with their food. And, yeah. Yeah, pull them out. So, I think that about covers it. It's a beautiful classroom. Please feel free to ask a Montessorian always if you have any questions. And as my son always likes to remind me, please click like and subscribe. Click the notification bell so you can learn about any future videos that we might have. This classroom has a waiting list. So it gives you a feel for how amazing Montessori is. It's becoming more and more popular. And it's, it's, I mean, I've worked at daycare centers and Anito is such a peaceful, loving place compared to where in a regular daycare, they're just kind of shuffled from activity to activity and not given this chance to freely explore and develop and gain that independence that you find, you know, often at this level, at a daycare, they're put in a swing, you know. Exactly. <laughs> they'll, left, they're, they'll be left in a crib. Right. Um, you notice there aren't any cribs in here. Nope, no cribs. They sleep on sleep mats, and they, yeah, they, they, they fall asleep really easily. They follow the routines. It's, it's, it's a piece of heaven. <laughs> I only got to sub one time, and I'd love to do it again sometime. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. So the focus at this age is obviously on movement, and um, that's why we have the staircase here. As soon as mm -hmm. they start walking, they move up to the other Movement, place. care of self, um, exactly. that functional independence. Yeah, and, themselves. And, um, and at this school, they're also spoken to in Spanish. And they understand it. And I've even seen some of them speak back. And at the toddler level, it's really apparent that they understand Spanish. Um, at, at a functional level, but it's beautiful to to see that. Um, so anyway, that's amazing. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I hope you all have a wonderful day.